So I'm back in Baja with the little guy, Jamie. There she is. It's high tide. Uh, it's Sunday morning. You're gonna watch this, I think, on Wednesday. And uh, yeah, full moon. Not even high tide yet. It's, we're like three hours from high tide, and it's still nuts here. Um, so today's post spoke to the idea of how do we shift to a growth mindset even when it's really painful. So just to remind us, uh, a growth mindset means that instead of trying to win, you're trying to learn. Uh, instead of trying to prove yourself, you're trying to improve yourself. So for me, I, I gotta just tell you, I was beside myself um, a couple months ago, a month and a half ago, when Christine Sperber and Jeff Amui suggested, actually it was, let's give credit to, to Christine, it was Christine who said, Maybe we need to change our business model for this next year. And I struggled. Oh man, did I struggle. We pieced together such a spectacular question of faculty. We had over a hundred people signed up with deposits in place, ready to come. Many of them who were supposed to come in the spring and then we had to cancel because of COVID. There was a sense of responsibility to so many different people. Uh, and I think I was stuck. More than anything else, when we are struggling to get into a growth mindset, it's often because we're fixed and stuck based upon something historically that has worked for us or some fear. So what I did that weekend between Friday and Monday, <laughs> and Christina and Jeff will tell you, it was almost a little miraculous because I really shifted in those two or three days, is I created a Google Doc, which is what I do when I'm in doubt. And I made a list of all of the emotions I was feeling and all of the reasons that I was really struggling with the idea of letting go of our 2020-21 academic calendar of workshops and moving instead to sabbatical sessions. By Monday, somehow I'd cleansed myself. I'd actually gotten to a place where I felt like I understood what was holding me back. And I was able to say yes, a wholehearted yes, to both Jeff and Christine. Um, so all I can say is, you know, when you're struggling with something and you feel you're reacting, you know, Frankel said, or supposedly Frankel said, between stimulus and response, there is a space. In that space is your power to choose your response. And in your response lies your growth and your freedom. Creating space to make a decision creating space to move out of reaction, to move into responsibility. There's a big difference between a response and a reaction. So I hope you're gonna join us. We have been very blessedly uh, gifted with so many people who've said yes to the sabbatical session idea, virtually full in Octo October, virtually full the first half of November. We have some space between mid-November and the end of December uh, and Jeff and Christine and I are gonna do something we don't normally do during that time. We're gonna do one-on-one -on -one time with anybody who signs up during that period. And then we go back to January and we're almost full. February is close to full. So bottom line is, if you wanna come, sign up soon. Best time to sign up is during the holidays, mid -net, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Great time to actually figure out your New Year's resolutions. Great time to spend some one-on-one -on -one time with me, Jeff or Christine. Thanks for joining. I'm gonna be moving out of here pretty soon because I think I'm gonna get wet if I stay here much longer.